you held the ball a little bit more. We talked about your com growing comfort level in that yesterday, which is how did you how did you feel like that one tonight? I mean, I felt great. Uh, of course, uh, set to the play, I had to play with the ball more, but I was expecting it, you know. I also talked to Doug before the game. So with the coaching staff, I was ready, uh, like I'd be ready. Uh, and I'm happy that we got the W, you know, without Seth. Uh, everybody stepped up and then uh, everybody played good. Matisse, what kind of like unlocked for you to start that, that third quarter when you kind of just going out? I mean, a lot of my offense comes from other guys finding me. So, I mean, Joel just trusted me to shoot. And, I mean, you guys have, I think we've been talking about it now for like three days, but like just wanting me to shoot more and encouraging me and finding me when I'm open. And then, uh, yeah, just continuing to slash and run in transition. For me, too, um, I, I know some of this is out of necessity right now, but you and Amy playing together quite a bit the last couple of games, just how – Unique does that feel? What type of look can that, can that give you guys that you have to do it just while other, other guys are out? Just how do you feel about that? It's fun, like being able to just, we were talking in, at halftime just about how many deflections we had gotten in the first quarter. And I think that had a, quite a bit to do with it. Just two guys very defensively minded trying to, I don't know, shut down our, our assignment. But I mean, this guy's also been guarding a lot of the other team's best players and doing a really good job, too. So he thinks that he's second in the team for deflections, but I don't think there's any chance of that. Um, but he's definitely in, like, you know, top ten or something like that. It's good to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I, mean, I think there was, a, I remember, a sequence in the, in the first quarter where, like, Danny got a block and you got a deflection, but there was in the span of, like, two seconds. Yeah. So that seems to really hear what you're talking about. Yeah. Frank, how have you seen the team's offensive game grow? I mean, I think he feels like more confidence on the court, you know, especially I know that too, when you make much more shot, confidence is coming more. And then uh, you feel like when you, get, when you have the ball, you have like 10 seconds to decide, you know. I think that's what he has. Uh, he has that feeling right now. You can tell uh, when he got the ball, I can tell like it's going in or he's going to miss because like it's easy to tell. Uh, no, it's about like players feeling, you know, because when I also shoot it, probably he can tell it's going in or not. It's about the body language too, uh, but I'm glad that also we are helping them to get him going, you know, because it's not just something that's about him, it's about us too, to get him going. I think uh, right now as a team, we have good chemistry. You joked about it a little already, but how do you think Burke's defensive game grow? I don't think that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the truth, right? This, this is the truth. You're top 10 in deflections. I'm looking it up. You're better than top 10. <laughs> There's 16 players on the team. Um, <laughs> first defense has gotten better. And it's, I mean, it shows in, like, the coaches trust. I feel like a, a good sense of, like, a, defensively in, in terms of what, like, you're capable of is the assignments that you're given. Um, like, the last few games, and I mean, honestly, this this season and, like, the second half of last season, like, coaches have trusted Ferk with some pretty hefty assignments, and he's held his own. And I think it just continues to, grow the trust of the coaching staff and also like players just trusting him to be able to take those one-on-one -on -one matchups with good players and that he can uh, hold his own. I know that we talked about Joel obviously challenging you here on, on the podium a, a couple games ago, but did his leadership growth has been something that a lot of people talked about this season? Can either one of you give an example of, of an, a, maybe a moment like that where he's doing something that maybe you wouldn't have done last year or, or Okay, I can I can I, I can give something. I mean, most of the times after every position that we don't take the shots. For example, offensively, he's talking about that. You know, like take the shots, stay wide. Normally, when he plays, like he was not talking that much on the court, like during the play. Right now, when you throw it the ball to him, like he's telling you before the position starts, before he starts to play, he's telling you, like stay there. You know, cut. You gotta do this. You gotta do this. That also gives us. Uh, idea that what we should do, okay, every day we are walking over the place, we walk through what we're going to do with the Joel on the court, but uh, the fact that he's talking to us, it also makes our jobs easier, and I think uh, that's the part of leadership. In defense, like, um, we know Joel is there. He got our back, so we are also more confident that uh, we can guard, guard the people, make them go to the rim, uh, chase the shooters to the paint, and then Joel is going to be just Joel, you know, just be in the paint and then don't let them score. 
Yes. Yeah. Oh, last one. One more. Oh, go for it. Go for it. Bring it on. First of all, Ferg is eighth on this team in deflection. <laughs> eighth. <laughs> We're doing a lot of research. Um, because you guys have such a good off court relationship, how has that impacted the way you guys communicate on the court this year? We don't really talk to each other much on the court. I mean, there's not a lot of reasons to talk on the court. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we just go out there and then play, but then the game is over, you know? Uh, we just talk. Like today, for example, after the game, uh, when we got the subs, like last three, four minutes of the game, we talk about the game. Like uh, when we go to play, probably on the bus, we're gonna talk about the life. You know what's going on? Just like chat. It's, it doesn't need to be something specific that we gotta chat. But I enjoy, you know, to be here, to be with him, uh, to be in this organization. Uh, it makes me feel like more family. That's great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs>